Courtney here from Oh Year Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of solo wood flowers in the United States. Today's tutorial, you guys. Any, any guesses on the um, main hoop part that we used for this affordable, fun hoop centerpiece? Yeah, I'm really bad at hints. I bet you're gonna guess it, but let's just jump into the tutorial and you can see if you were right. For this tutorial, you're going to need two two by twos, and these are approximately 25 inches long. We're gonna have another piece of wood, and this is an eight by eight square that I've created. Not super thick. You're gonna want some sort of type of wood circle. I'm using an MDF. This is a 12 inch circumference, so it goes across 12 inches. And this is gonna be used as our platform. Just a couple of screws. These are gonna depend size-wise on how thick the wood is that you're using. So you wanna make sure that they're long enough to go through, but not so long that they're gonna go right through your wood. Spray paint, and the secret piece to this particular tutorial, a child size hula hoop. I completely forgot the most important part of this tutorial, coffee. So much coffee. So with this particular hula hoop, it has this like iridescent thing to it. Um, I've used this style before, it's a sticker. Yay for that. So what we're gonna do is just get a knife out and we're gonna score this ever so gently. And we're going to take off the sticker. So you see right there, it's a black hoop underneath. I'm trying not to, I don't want to like actually cut into the hoop itself though, because that's gonna leave some marks when we get our spray paint on here. So I'm trying to be aware of it. And now this is just gonna take a while to take this apart. So we'll speed this up and we'll make it into a non iridescent, crazy type of hula hoop. And then to hold the hoop together, there are these staples. Don't worry about those. Those are going on the bottom. All right, now we have our hoop fully uh, iridescent taken away. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it and I will come back and she shall, she shall be a lovely gold. While you're spray painting said hoop, spray paint all of your wood pieces as well. Okay, I'll be right back. So, everything is now spray painted. And while we put this together, I have a fun little story time to tell you about as I was making this and putting it together. So I went outside to spray paint because I was trying to be responsible and not spray paint in my studio. I locked myself out of the studio. So this video has not gone the way I even wanted or expected, but that's all right. So now what we're doing is we are putting a wooden block or the, that wooden piece. We're gonna create that to hold these two pieces together. I've put the hoop in between so that it's snug in there. I'm going to use my power drill to put the screws in. If you wanted to do this by hand, you probably could. It might be a little difficult though. Power, if you can get a power tool, that's gonna make it a hundred times easier. One in, and then we're gonna go kitty corner to the other side for the other one. All right, 
So now that's nice and tight in there. We're gonna take our circle. Now you don't have to worry about filling in these particular screws, but for this one, you can put a little bit of the paint on top of it. Okay, so there we have it. Now let's put some greenery and a little bit of flowers and we'll finish this up. To finish this, I am going to grab a, just a swag of greenery. This has actually been cut in half. Um, whatever you wanna use. If you wanna individually wrap different parts of greenery, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna go, this is the easy way to do it. <laughs> let's just be honest. We're just gonna put a little bit of greenery on here. Since this is a smaller hoop than the one we've done in the past, and if you're interested in that video, we did a very large um, cake hoop, if you will. Um, I'll link it in the description below so you can check that one out. This one is a little bit, it's a little bit more low key. This could be used on a centerpiece or on each of the tables and have your table numbers in the center. I'm gonna use cable ties. Now, because we're using, this is spray painted on plastic, uh, you might get some lifting of the spray paint. I did use spray paint that's supposed to go on plastic, but I am noticing some lift up. So, using the cable ties helps a little bit in not scratching as much versus wire. But if you're even concerned about that, you could probably use um, a green floral tape to wrap it around. Flowers, I'm using a petal wire that I've already hot glued into the stem. I'm using a 22 gauge petal wire. Now where the paint has lifted, if it's bothering you, you can go in and just touch up that paint a little bit as well. There you have it. There you go guys. Here is an alternative hoop centerpiece using a hula hoop, a couple pieces of wood, and you're go good to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're loving what we're doing around here, make sure to subscribe and to ring that bell. And to learn more about the 100 plus solo wood style flowers we have in our shop, go to ohyourlovely.com. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye guys.